U.S. Army has selected the Bell V280 Valor Tilt Rotorcraft to replace the Army's 2000 UH-60 Black Hawk Utility Helicopters and 1200 AH-64 Apache Assault Helicopters. They decided that after years of testing and deliberation. According to the company, the U.S. Army's FLRAA, or Future Long Range Assault Aircraft Program, has awarded the development contract with a total ceiling of $1.3 billion for the replacement of the Black Hawk to the Bell V-270 Valor. It was announced by the U.S. Army themselves on Monday evening that no item purchases that spent more than that in decades, making this the most significant purchase in more than 30 years. The main reason Bell's V280 Valor Tilt Rotor got the award was that it developed and tested as part of the JMRTD, or Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstrator, the program that began in 2013. It needed years of trying conscientious flight that provided extensive data validating aircraft's technical and operational advantages for long-range strike missions. Also, there are a few signs of progress in V280, including manufacturing, design, and most importantly, flight testing. Scott C. Donnelly, Textron's chairman and chief executive officer, is glad and honored that the U.S. Army has selected the Bell V280 Valor as their next generation assault aircraft. He stated, We are honored that the U.S. Army has selected the Bell V280 Valor as its next generation assault aircraft. He added that he was glad, honored, and excited to join and play an essential part in Army aviation in the future. He also said that he wanted to build the best or most remarkable weapon system to fulfill the Army's requirements on their missions. The President and the CEO of Bell, Mitch Snyder, is excited about modernizing the Army aviation capabilities for the future. Mitch Snyder also added, This is an exciting time for the U.S. Army, Bell, and Team Valor as we modernize the Army's aviation capabilities for decades to come. Bell himself has always been supporting Army aviation. He stated he was ready to help supply the Army aviation with the high, reliable, elite long-range assault weapon system. Bell and his business partner have validated the V-280 aircraft systematically and approach in collaborating with the Army Aviation in their modular open system. Keith Flail, the Executive Vice President of Advanced Vertical Lift Systems at Bell, stated that Bell's team had demonstrated extraordinary operational capabilities for the past few years and increasements or enhancements in platform affordability provided by the V-280 itself. The U.S. Army leader stated they needed more time to review the two competing bids, which are Bell's V-280 Valor and a joint Sikorsky-Boeing compound helicopter platform dubbed the SB-1 Defiant X. The Army also stated in November that they'd announced the decision by the end of the year. The reasons why they delayed because of due diligence and quality control. After months of waiting for the decision, the V-280 Valor tilt rotor beat out the Sikorsky Boeing compound helicopter. General Robert Berry, the executive program officer for aviation, told reporters that an initial obligation of $232 million will fund Bell's preliminary design and development of a virtual prototype that the Army will use to proceed with the acquisition, Army Brig. It will continue for the next 19 months, and also, there will be no aircraft procured in the initial phase of the acquisition. He also added, for the initial phase of the acquisition, there will be no aircraft procured. Now, it turns out that there are two different approaches of competition against each other. One example is Bell Textron's tilt rotor design, similar to the V-22 Osprey flown by the Marines, etc. Barry said, we're not going to talk specifics about the evaluation, but what we were seeking is the best value approach. When he was asked what put the tilt rotor ahead of the competition, he refused to tell. Barry added, no one thing really drove the decision, so if you look at a very high level, the factors or variables for performance, cost, and schedule all were considered, and the combination of those are defined explicitly and evaluated. 
Barry said the first lot of low-rate initial production is $7.1 billion, and the total award number for the FLRAA contract and engineering manufacturing and development phase is included. He also added, there's a larger number on the order of $70 billion of potential, depending on how many aircraft the Army procures over the long term to include potential foreign military sales. So that's both near term and long term. In its releases, Keith Flail, the executive vice president of Advanced Vertical Lift Systems at Bell, said the V-280 Valor would bring a modern rotorcraft to the U.S. Army. However, the V-280 Valor is a competent tilt rotor aircraft that combines conventional aircraft set capabilities and a helicopter. The V-280 Valor is miles better than the Blackhawks, especially when both of them are compared in speed comparison. Alongside the high sling load capability and craftsmanship, you'd expect from a tactical helicopter such as allowing troops to be brought on board to exit the aircraft during hovering. Carl Hoffman, the vice president of future vertical lift strategy at Bell, stated that what Bell did with the V-280 Valor was to evolve the tilt rotor configuration into a fighting machine designed specifically for the Army's air assault and utility missions in contested environments, and to be maintainable in the field. He also added, we proved that this is not going to be a risky configuration for the Army to adopt because there is no component on the V-280 Valor that you can't pull with organic ground support equipment in an austere environment today. The requirements that the U.S. Army wants the V-280 Valor to meet before entering service remain confidential or secret. According to the service, the initial prototype will be sent to the U.S. Army by 2025. Meanwhile, a unit of the Army is scheduled to be equipped with the FLRAA in 2030, which will be the first Army unit to be fitted.